Hello, welcome back to this Skyback Championship where on match day 25 and we get the return fixture of our second game of the season as we entertain Preston North End and we played out a 1-1 draw at their ground. So this is going to be a vital game for us. We did win quite easily against Dolby in the last game so this might be a different kettle of fish. But I'll have a look at the formation we've gone for. We've gone for 4 3, three more or less and we've got two just holding midfielders with Brannigan and Bolks, with Sibley backing up behind Doris. Rodriguez has dropped to the bench because he scored a couple of goals in the last game, but he decided to rest him. So let's get to the stadium for the game against Preston North End. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to this match at the Kesham Stadium where Oxford United take on Preston North End, who are currently in 18th position. So a victory today would be absolutely handy. In well, the last game, they absolutely blitzed Derby County, winning quite emphatically three goals to nil. But this is another day, another game. And I see Eastwood has kept his position in goal, keeping out Jamie Cummins, who hasn't put a foot wrong this season. But uh, yeah, Eastwood had a good game in the last game. So this is the reverse fixture from the second game of the season, where we drew 1-1 at in Preston. And of course, Oxford are today in their yellow and blue. And Preston changed today from their white and black to all blue. So here's a chance for Slibley. Oh, and it's Ledson's just got there in time. Thordson, very big. Oh, 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 good block there by Phillips. Now, so to Phillips. Now then, can Phillips get one into the box? You can see the run of. Oh, and it's going to come all the way through Edwards, but he just stopped and it's been cleared away by the Preston defence. Yeah, so I hope you all had a good Christmas, because this is the 29th of January, we're into the new year. There's Volks, Brannigan, and more, Valiant Moore. Yeah, so. Oh, and he's got a good run by. And it's a chance for Sibley, and Sibley has tucked it away. Oh, he brought that down and in one movement turned and just placed the shot into the bottom corner of the net. And Oxford United take the lead. Oh, how, in, how important could these goals be for Oxford? They've had a traumatic first half of the season, dropping into the bottom three of the league. But first two games on the turnaround and we pick it up another... Well, I'm not going to say it, but... It's better going one nil up than one nil down, that's for sure. Peter Kyo, so just jump you one. Look at that for a nice turn by Sidley. He brought it in and flicked it in with his left foot past the key for one nil Oxford. Oh, a super start. Six minutes gone. And, well, could this be the turnaround that we've been waiting for? Phillips. There's Sidley. Pays it up to Brannigan. Now, Brannigan, he's got a chance to get played. Have you seen? Oh, and it's Brannigan. And he's just fending off what mob. Phillips. Because he's one in. Oh, and that's gone all the way over two homes. And the cam. Now, Don Booking all very pleased with this performance. And it's Brannigan again. Sibley. Oh, and he's tried to get it out to Edwards. He saw him in space. And it's tidied up by the Preston defence. Edson is out to Lindsay. He's playing a long ball forward to Thorson. Nice big on to Chad Evans, who's got past. Oh, and it's a good, good bit of defending by Thornley. And it's Harris. And he's been brushed aside. Found Thorson again, flicking on to Evans. Ball to Brady. Gioso tries to track him back, and he's always oh, got the best of him, I think. No, he's not. Well, it's into the box, but Eastwood gets down. I see the intensity by Oxford. They are absolutely on fire. Oh, simply tried to get it through to Harris, but it's been well cut out. There's McCann. Thornton. Oh, and it's Brady. Ah, well played, Phillips. Plays it down the line to Harris. He presses across the park to... Oh, and it's come off the defender, and it's gone to 
Oh, kindly for Chad Evans, who's played it to the right-hand side to Holmes. Lee has got there. It's a ball into the box, but it's dealt with quite well. Uh, Sibley. Out to Edwards. Now then, there's a chance for Oxford to break. As Edwards is going to try and flip one over in the middle. Paul Brannigan to run on to, but it's a poor ball. That's easy for Pradic in the Preston North End goal. Hell it more. I uh, just need to calm down a little bit. I think we're getting a bit excited now because we've gone one nil up and oh, we did try to press for another goal, but Radigan has Phillips. Oh, and Sibley Stoop, he's got... And it's a chance for Harris to chuck one into the net and then Dockford United do double the lead. Oh, this formation does seem to suit Dockford United, 4-3-3. Uh, Mark Harris was given a simple chance there by Lewis Sibley. He made a super run, tucked it inside, and now uh, he's had the simplest task of put it into the bot corner. Well, two goals to nil. You can't ask for much more. Play 23 minutes. And it's Volks. And Lee. That'd be part of the better side. There's more. Joso plays it across two bolts. He's been pressed by McCann, but he's got it with it to back to Thorner. Now, Greg Lee kicks one over to Edwards. Found the line again on Sibley's. And it's crossed it in. Oh, it's. Well, it's probably. I saw the run of Harris, but it was well cut out. Pop up. On ball up to Thornton. Uh, Zaris again, Phillips, got to say that, oh, that's a poor ball. And by by story, saw the run of Thorson, Chad Evans, but Phillips. Now oh, we're coming up to the 30 minute mark and it's 2-0 to Oxford. Just what the doctor ordered, good performance as well, but oh, the cam, now Evans as the can again. Holmes. Oh, it's a ball to, to Thornton. Oh, and he's blasted it wide. Oh, that was a chance for Preston to get back into the game. Nice oh, bit of football there, and it's... Well, he saw a gap in the defence, and Thornton really just passed it wide. I oh, wonder he's held his hands. He should have scored. Oh, Simon Eastwood. Well, it more. Kyoso. Like 32 minutes, it's looking good for Oxford at the minute. There's Volks, Edwards. Oh, you've got to admire Don Buckham's gamble on. You've got to admire his gamble on taking these tactics. Whether they'll keep it or not, I'll have to play and see. We are at home, of course. There's the cam. There's Whiteman. Plays it up towards Thornton, but there's Phillips. Plays it to Edwards, he's got a chance to get it. Oh, he's in. Harris is good score, and it's full of save by the keeper. Oh, he should have scored there. Oh, that would have been nice on the cake for this half, I'm sure. Ah, oh, Phillips. Joso. Good ball in. Holmes gets it away. Ah, oh, now is a chance. Heavens is on his own. So he will need support, and he gets it from Brady on this near side. Peter Gosso just chasing back. Good ball into the near box. Oh, what a save! Oh, what a save by Eastman. That was absolutely superb. Point blank. Dawson. Evans turns. Ah, oh, Eastwood gets it again, but what a terrific save by Simon Eastwood. Wow, oh, Preston, well, that would have booked them up for the second half if that had gone in. Brannigan. Phillips. So right to Brannigan again. Folks. Over the top to Edwards. 
box is the run of Lee on that left hand side now then can the ball back get one into the box he can oh and it's all around Phillips well hey, why did he miss it why did he miss that well got a minute of stoppage time in this first half and it's been a terrific half for Oxford ball up to Thornton and Brady they've gone up towards Chad Evans but going to be the half time whistle on Oxford United Two goals to the goal, Lewis Sibley on six, uh, Mark Harris on 23, the assist from Sibley. Well, welcome back for the second half, as Oxford United lead Preston North End by two goals to nil. And what a valuable three points this could be if they can. Well, they just got to be careful, that's all, not get caught or... I've got to say, they've played absolutely fantastic this half, this first half anyway. Over Lee Edwards. He sees the run of Harris, now then Harris can get, can he get one in? Oh, Padrich just gets down to his left. What the, Whiteman. Whiteman again. Oh, that's a good ball out to Brady on that far side, now can he get a cross in? Koso's been on him all day and he gets that one out. It's going to be a corner kick to Preston, so the first... Action of the game as Potts comes on from a can for Preston North End. They do make their first substitution early in this second half. The ball's a good ball in and the headers just over the bar. Terrific header. But, well, the challenge was just good enough to put him off. That's the substitute on trying to. Oh, he's good. Oh, Gioso. Again, Folks. Lee. So Lee to Thornley. Don't need to be. Uh... Ah, the ball by Gioso to Phillips. Now then, Phillips has got a chance to get Brannigan in. And he's. And Brannigan again, all over the top. Um, well, I just don't seem to be the greatest in the air, does he? <laughs> ball forward. Again, it's easily cut out, and it's on to Holmes. Thorson, Preston again, men forward. So they could get caught, but there's Holmes on just inside the box. He's just gone inside Lee. There's a chance. Oh, the good punch out by Eastwood. And it's down the line for Brannigan. Who gets it to Harris? Plays it out to Brannigan again. Can he keep it in? He can. There's Kyoso. Over the top to Brannigan. No. It's well cut out by Wobble. Oh, and it's Evans tracking back. And it's. Oh, it's well, it is sort of bouncing around a little bit at the minute. It's gone a bit scrappy. I played an hour, 2 0. Oh, Ledson. There's uh, Evans, he's got a bit of space to work into. Uh, Stops it again, ah, oh, again. He's put it wide. Oh, Thornton has had a. Well, he's had glorious opportunities in this match. Well, again, he's well, he could have just tucked it into the corner, but he put it wide. Just ain't it afternoon, is it? So, also back in there, first up to choose of the game as Placetta comes on for Edwards and Josh Begeechin on for Brannigan. Just, I uh, guess, been a few bad days. <laughs> and Thornton has come off. Well, the man has missed two glorious opportunities to get Preston into the game. But, how it goes. A little sympathy from me. Anyway, here's a chance for Placetta. He's got... The run of Harris. Harris has got past the defender. Ooh, um, well, he almost got the best of his defenders, Volks. There's a chance for Placetta. He's got ball into the box. And work, oh, just gets it clear. Oh, and it's put in the way. And Carl Eastwood get there before the, he can. He plays it down to Placetta. A chance for Harris, can he place 
Pochetta in, he can't, and Pochetta should score. Oh, and the keeper's made a good save. Again, they missed the opportunity there to go three up. Oh, it's... The chance is still coming, that's for sure. There's Bolts. There's Pochetta. I've played inside to Sibley, but it's gone to Potts. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Parkman. Uh, Zones now. Potts. Again. Oh, he's being Harris boy. Thornley, but. Uh, Magichi will go out to Brady. Well, he's been given a foul against Magichi, so that will be a free kick in a dangerous position for Preston. And a bit of a talking too, but no booking. So it's going to be Chad Evans off and Philippe Rodriguez is on for Preston. It's a good ball into the box, that. And that's a good header, and that's in the net. And Preston do get the goal. Aha, just literally seconds onto the pitch, and Rodriguez is. Pulled one back for Preston. Oh, we've got an early 18 minutes now. Just need to need to keep our composure. Our Felipe Rodriguez. Hey, literally seconds onto the pitch. But they could cost the ball and he's well he's he's been just not getting the chance to So oh, 2-1. They've got to be careful. I don't think there'll be much. Going forward now, that is for sure. Lee, Thornley, need these three points desperately. Don't care how we get them. We have to pass it about. Folks. Pochetta now then can try to get one through. We can. Oh, and it's a chance for. Oh, Phillips will cross one. Oh, and that nearly caught the keeper out. Gonna be a corner kick. Not to saw the run. It come off the defender. It played to Sibley. He's had a terrific game this afternoon. Ah, oh, well, the keeper just got a foot to it. Puts it out for the corner. Ah, oh, Kyoto to take it. And he get one to the far post. He can't. Oh, the keeper's punched it. Gonna be Kyoto to get it again. Ah, oh, Phillips will get there. Nice call in, but it's crept in. Now then. Ah, oh, Harris. Harris with the shot, but Pradic just gets down in time to keep it out. Oh, long ball forward. Oh, now Rodriguez is in. He's got behind the defence. Lee, he's got to the far post, but just got in time. There's McGeechin. That's the ball to Phillips, to Harris. Now Harris gets one through to Sibley. Can Sibley get there first? He can. Shot across the guy, and it's done for a goal kick. I oh, can feel this game ain't over yet. <laughs> Beautiful ball to Sibley. He's really sucks off this afternoon. And it's just gone wide. Now double can make it his third and final substitute as uh, Herbie Harry comes on for Matty Phillips. Had a half decent game this afternoon. Well, we've got nine minutes to go, so we need to hold on to this. There we go. Story. Oh, and it's a chance for Alcos. He's going to score. Oh, did that fall kindly for the Preston man. Wow, the ball was up in the air. I think it was Rodriguez got the flick on. I think they were playing offside there. It was uh, Oxford. There's Ockles as. Well, after a game we were comfortably in control of. Ah, Preston North End have snatched another goal. Say again, it's a route one stuff towards 
Beautiful flick on. Oh, beautiful ball through. Um, these were no chance. Well, what can I say, folks? The jet up. Oh, now Chelsea's got a chance to. Oh, um, oh, he's having his shirt tugged there, I think. And well, he could have gone for the peeling for a penalty, but nothing given. Uh, McGeechin. Now, ah, chance for. No, didn't quite fall for him. Well, is there another goal in the game? Long ball up again for Rodriguez to chase. But, wow, wow, wow. Now to Pachetta. Now that Pachetta's in. Now to Sibley. Now after Pachetta, he's got behind the defence. Ball into the box. Oh, and it's... Now it's Groke. There's Rodriguez. Leap down to Pachetta. Now he's got a chance to get into the box. Now they can he get. He can. Oh, and the keeper got there just before Sibley. Well, we've got three minutes of stoppage time. There's a chance for Sibley again. Harris to. Uh, two. Is it going to fall? No, it's going to be a free kick. Oh, in a dangerous position. What a chance. Madsen be just catching Sibley on the ankle. Leaping a foot in. Well, we've got a super chance here. So it's going to be Louis Sibley to take it. Can he get one over the wall? And... It's a chance. Oh, my word. That's simply won the game for Oxford. I'll take a bow from. Well, you can see what it means to the staff, the players, the supporters. You can see the absolute raptures there of Lewis Sibley. Looks like he's won the game for Oxford United. Again, to be honest, we should have been out of sight, but well, it's in the top bins and the keeper project just couldn't get there, could he? What a super, super finish from Lewis Sibley. So, I'll just about my time for the kickoff. And surely referee's got a blow. Those pots. Ah, oh, then we've got to defend. Ah, oh, the good play, the play there for Webby Owe. And get that down, and there is the final whistle. Now that's Oxford United. The game was completely in control of, but Preston did fight back. But that free kick in the third minute of injury time has won the game for Oxford. Well, what can I say? Two goals up, 2-2, two, two, and scoring in the last minute of it. Well, injury time of the, of the match, so to win the game 3-2. What a well, 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 we needed that three points for sure. Well, anyway, the rest of the results. What could have gone down? 1-0 to Derby County, Burnley 1, Stoke 1, Norwich 0, Luton Town 4, Sheffield United 4, Swansea 2, Plymouth Argyle going down at home to Bristol City. Quiz Park Rangers 1 at Millwall 4, West Brom 4, Sunderland 0. So the top two sides have got beaten. Leeds United 1, Sheffield Wednesday 0, Blackburn 1, Portsmouth 0, Portsmouth going down again. Uh, Cardiff City 1, Hull City 0, uh, Middlesbrough 2, Coventry City 2. So this is going to make it interesting at the, in the league. Well, we've got Watford and Sunderland are still in them two positions, staying where they are. Middlesbrough have gone up to third and Burnley up to fourth with Norwich City and West Bromwich Albion making up the other playoff places. Leeds United are just two, behind, two points behind West Bromwich Albion. So let's have a look at the bottom. Has that got us out the bottom three? I wonder how the each has. Four point clear from Hull City. And two wins in our first two games on the turn round has been an absolute bonus. Scored six goals as well after a bit of a dry spell. 
as well. I've got Portsmouth and Coventry taking up the other two places in the bottom three. So Sheffield Wednesday just out there and Preston who we just beat in our uh, drop down to 19th. Well, I've got to say that was an absolutely terrific game. And we're going on to match day 26 now where we'll play Stoke City. And that's another vital game that we need to be... Well, we need to carry on with this form, that's for sure. So anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll catch you for match day 26. We go to the Britannia Stadium in Stoke.